Hey, hey! So, today I want to talk about all those rare occasions where the ABBA members appeared together in public after 1982. We basically got all possible combinations over the years of who appeared with whom, but they seemed to try very hard not to be seen together, all four of them. So let's take a look back, and of course I will not be counting the many times that Bjorn and Benny appeared somewhere since they never really stopped working together. So after 1982, for the next four years, there were quite a few almost reunions, mainly because Frida, Bjorn and Benny were promoting their solo work on the same occasion. One time on the French TV show Champs-Élysées, then again in the Netherlands, and one time for the German TV show Nazoras. Frida also attended some of the premieres of chess, as did Agneta, but as far as I know, there were no photographs taken between Björn and Benny and each of the ladies. Björn and Benny also came together with Agneta at least once in 1985 for a ceremony celebrating gold records for her two solo albums from the 80s. And finally, in 1986, all four of them would come together and perform the song Tibet's Humble on TV, especially recorded for the manager Stig Andersson. This was the first and final time that all four members came together publicly, side by side, for the next 30 years. So what happened in those 30 years? Well, not too much was going on during the 80s and 90s, since Agneta and Frida more and more withdrew from public. But there were a few occasions. In 1993, again, Björn, Benny and Frida came together to receive platinum records for the Abba Gold compilation. And in 1995, Agneta attended the premiere of Björn and Benny's second musical, Christina von Dubemola, although again, no photos were taken of the three together. It got a lot more interesting for the past 20 years. And it started in 2003, where Frida and Benny came together on two events, once for the premiere of the Mamma Mia musical in Las Vegas, and a second time in December for the premiere of the new restoration of ABBA the movie. Although, as far as I know, they were not seen together at each occasion, at least not on photographs. In 2004, there was another reunion between Pjorn, Benny and Frida, and this time it was also made into a documentary called Super Troopers 30 Years of ABBA. When Frida entered the stage, she lost her shoes and afterwards joked about how long she hasn't been on stage, she even loses her shoes. Over the next few years, Frida and Björn would come together for different premieres of the Mamma Mia musical, twice in 2004, then again in 2006 in Moscow and in 2007 in Berlin. In 2005, all four members attended the Swedish premiere of Mamma Mia, but of course they did not appear together and apparently they were sitting so far from each other that it was impossible to get them together into one photograph. Things would drastically change three years later when all four ABBA members attended the Stockholm premiere of Mamma Mia the movie and this time they were finally seen together in one photograph for the first time in over 22 years, but of course not side by side. Agneta and Frida were together in the center, but all the actors separated them from Björn and Benny at this specific far end. Back then someone made this collage where the actors were cut out of the photo so that ABBA could finally be together. This wasn't the real deal, of course, but it was all we had to be happy with, at least for another eight years. A few days earlier, for the world premiere of Mamma Mia! the movie in London, Frida, Björn and Benny attended, although as far as I know, only Björn and Frida would appear together. The next two years were possibly some of the most interesting ones with a few unexpected surprises. In 2009, Agneta and Frida were together to receive the Swedish Rock Björn Prize. They said that Björn and Benny couldn't be there because they were looking after the children, but the youngest of these children were 28 and 22 years old, so that was probably some strange sense of Swedish humor there. In 2010, Frida and Björn attended the premiere of Other World, which was a traveling exhibition and basically the early version of the permanent ABBA museum that would open in Stockholm in 2013. The same year, Frida and Benny came together for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction of ABBA in New York City. Also in 2010, we got yet another very rare combination when Benny and Agneta filmed the video greeting for the opening of ABBA World in Australia where Agneta successfully cut the ribbon. It was very nice to see the two of them together, and it was in fact again the very first time that both alone were together since 1982. Also in 2010, we got yet another beautiful surprise, this time with Björn and Agneta appearing together arm-in-arm arm for the premiere of Mamma Mia! in Copenhagen. 
Finally, another full ABBA reunion almost happened when in 2013 ABBA the Museum opened in Stockholm. Who was there? Once again, Frida, Björn and Benny. However, this time they would never appear together at the occasion and left some fans disappointed who were certainly hoping for an other reunion of all four of them, since it was the opening of their own museum. Agneta, however, was completely absent as she was in London promoting her album A. At least Björn and Frida did an interview together and those two also came together for another time in 2014 for the launch of ABBA, the official photo book, at the Tate Museum in London. In that particular book, we finally did get to see Frida, Björn and Benny from that occasion in 2013 when they were photographed together at Benny's Mono Music office. Now, if you're still here with me, I thank you very much and it is highly appreciated and you will be rewarded. So let's get back together in time to January 2016 when all four members of ABBA finally appear together for the first time in 30 years, just the four of them as an entity for the opening of Mamma Mia! The Party in Stockholm. It was the very first time since their final performance in 1986, almost exactly to the date, and as you have now seen, they really kept the mystery going for decades with some nice surprise combinations, but also a lot of missed opportunities. So to finally see them together was a pure magical moment. It really was. And exactly as they disappeared into the fog, back in 1982 with their final video under attack. They appeared out of that fog again more than 30 years later. Would you think that was it? No. Five months later, on the 5th of June 2016, Björn and Benny threw a huge private party to celebrate the 50th anniversary of their friendship and working partnership. Over 350 guests were there and amongst them Agneta and Frida, who performed the way old friends do. Björn and Benny thanked them on stage afterwards, and so it was already the second time in one year that all four of them were together. So as gradually as they grew apart after 1982, they somehow grew together again over the years, exactly as they naturally came together in the 1970s. One year later, in 2017, they were back together in the studio to record new music, which we will be hearing very soon. Alright, until then, hey do! <laughs>